All right. I have pool hair and I am angry. <laughs> so over the last month and eight days, I have been reading Donna Tartt's The Goldfinch, okay? Everyone told me that this book was going to be amazing, that it was awesome, that it was totally deserving of a Pulitzer Prize. Everyone's a liar, okay? I am extremely frustrated with this book. First of all, I am highly frustrated that it took me a month and eight days to read. I'm someone who finishes books in like less than a week usually because I read a lot. This book fucking dragged and dragged and had hardly a plot. Hardly a plot in sight. Plot? Can't find him. He ain't here. Let me tell you what this book is about. Basically, it starts off, you are in the present. There's no present in this book because... This is a lump of coal. It spans so much time. There's there's no present. It's all of the time. The time is endless and infinite in this goddamn book because it never ends. We start off, we've got Theo. He is a boy. When we go back in time, because he's like, oh, I bet you're wondering why I'm in Amsterdam. No, bitch, I'm actually not wondering because you haven't given me any reason to wonder. Why don't you tell me? So he goes back in time to when he's 11. And he tells us all about how his mom died in this explosion. Um, so she dies in the explosion, and he, before the explosion, he saw this redheaded girl, and he was like, "Ooh, she's a baddie though." Um, and he's right; she's hot, um, but she's got this old man with her, and he's like, "I hate the old man." Men are dumb. Basically, there's an explosion and he's separated from his mom. His mom dies. But before he can realize that, he wakes up and he finds the old man because they're in the same room. The old man gives him a ring and tells him to look out for the redheaded girl, like to watch after her because he's dying. Um, he lives. Um, then he goes to live with like family friends or whatever. And then eventually he goes and finds the business partner of the dude with the ring. Um, who would have guessed it? He finds the redheaded girl there because she didn't die. Then his deadbeat dad, who left him and his mom a year earlier, take him and move him to Nevada, to Vegas, where he meets this Polish dude who's his age, and they just drink a lot and do a lot of drugs together. Um, meanwhile, he's got the secret, which is that he stole a famous painting during the explosion. And he's like, oh, yikes. No one can have my painting. Then his dad dies and he basically, like, goes back to New York and lives with the business partner of the old man who died. Um, and the business partner basically raises him. So then, like, he's there and eventually he gets engaged to, like, the daughter of the family friend. And... Then he finds out that his Polish friend stole and then basically bartered off his painting. And whatever, they go back and they find the painting, they lose the painting, and uh, there's a gun shoot or whatever. And absolutely pointless. And then Interpol gets the painting and they give the main character some money. This book sucked absolute ass because the main character was so extremely unlikable. Like, I, I have read so many books about so many unlikable people, but he takes a cake. We can make this better because here is the most likable person, Lil Remy. Look into her beautiful baby eyes. A little mushy. Basically... This main character is, like, sour and miserable from the time his mom dies until literally the end of the book. Um, and it was so frustrating to read because he is just surrounded by people who love the shit out of him. 
His mom loves him. The family friends fucking adore him. And he, like later on in the story, when the mother of the family friends um, basically like is depressed, he is the only one who can get her out of her depression because she loves him so much. Like what the fuck? The old man who's the business partner loves the shit out of him. Um, the the Polish kid loves him. Like there is no. There's no reason for this. And also, like, it's a sin that this is 771 pages. You know? Like, it... And it's all other people just fucking talking to him, being like, I'm really interesting as a character, and you are an unsalted saltine. I just... I'm at a complete and utter loss. I don't think... Anyone should read this goddamn book. It was a mistake. Um, it does not win deserve. I'm so angry that I can't even speak. It is so undeserving of the Pulitzer Prize that it fucking won that I am going to go and literally burn my skin off. I was gonna go with something worse than that, and then I realized that this is not appropriate. And, like, I did give it a three out of five because I can tell that it's a good book um, and that it's supposed to be a good book, but it, it eats ass. I don't know how many times I need to say that this book eats ass, but it sucks and I hated it and, like, it falls into the same trap that all of these, that so many adult fiction novels fall into, which is that you've got an adult who takes no stock in their own life. They have no control over the things that happen to them. They're always a victim and things just happen to them. Oh no. And like everything will end up okay for them in the end. Um, spoiler alert. Um, the character is a drug addict and at the end of the book, he basically tries to OD and then he doesn't fucking die and then he gets all this money from the painting and I know that I'm supposed to feel like, oh yay, everything worked out for him, but I wanted him to die so badly. I have never wanted a character to die more except for when I really wanted Hagrid to die because I have never liked Hagrid. Sorry. I am over it. Um, Donna Tart. I deserve your Pulitzer Prize, and I don't even have a book published yet. This is such a waste of my time. It was honestly insulting. Don't fucking read this book. It's not worth your time. It was so bad that even Remy decided that she was going to bite some of the cover. She was like, oh, this book's bad. Let me do my parent a favor and eat the book. I'm just so angry I had to put it into a medium. So, thank you for watching. I hope I never have to read a book like this ever again. There's the baby. Um, I can't even say, like, oh... Um, next book of this kind, I uh, next video of this kind, because I'm pre-filming like eight videos right now because I'm about to be traveling a whole bunch and then packing all my shit. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Mama Mia, here I go again, my eye. How could I resist you? Mama Mia, does it show again?